Hello, welcome to another video with me. My name is Melissa and today we are going to be talking about Corporate Gothware Summer Edition. So I have already done a video called How to Build a Corporate Goth Wardrobe, but I realized majority of those pieces revolved around slightly colder months. A lot of the garments that I showcased had long sleeves. They really highlighted the importance of cardigans, etc., uh, coats, and I have been getting comments asking, well, what if I want to dress corporate goth, but I live in Florida where it's hot majority of the time? Or what if I have a lot of tattoos and I can't showcase that in the office? And of course, sometimes you just like the corporate goth aesthetic and it's hot and you can't wear a lot of these beautiful layered pieces in the summer and it's humid. So we're going to cover all of that today. I'm going to be talking about what to look for when you're shopping, especially when you're thrifting. Tops, trousers, accessories, shoes. So. I just finished recording the outfit portion, so that's why I'm wearing something different than I was in my intro. But what I want to first start out with are cover-ups. So this is to answer the request where some people are concerned that if they have tattoos, they have to hide it in the office. I am very fortunate enough that I work in a creative field that having tattoos is not really deemed as uh, something inappropriate or something that is not office appropriate. I have a half sleeve and I never had an issue to cover it, but I know that's not the case in all offices. Some offices are a little more conservative than what I'm used to, so everything that I'm going to recommend, please adjust based off of what you need to do. Also in terms of aesthetically and style-wise, I do lean more towards like a lot of basics and things on the more minimal level, so feel free to spice it up to your preference. and. You can view mine as like a foundational essentials type of video when it comes to a dark aesthetic in the office. Okay, so first cover-ups that I wanna talk about are a bit on the more sheer side. My favorite go-to cover-up that always feels like I never have to sacrifice the integrity of my style is this spiderweb wrap cardigan that I got from Disturbia. I like things that lean towards a little kitschy, a little bit on like the obvious spooky side. And that's why I love things that have a spiderweb motif, Halloween motif. Now it's not to say that just cause you lean towards corporate goth and emo style doesn't mean you automatically like Halloween style. That's not accurate, but I feel like a spiderweb type of design and motif does lean towards like a spooky side. And it kind of tells people this is what I'm into, this is what I like. And even though we don't really see Morticia Adams wear like obvious spiderweb type of styles, there's something very Morticia Adams about this cardigan that I love so much. And even if I'm wearing the most basic of tops, that cardigan really spices it up. And also for those of you with more tattoos than me and you are concerned about covering it up, Getting a sheer cardigan for the summer is great because it's slightly breathable, but also any motif that is printed or like the spider web, it blends into the tattoo or it slightly covers it and it doesn't look as obvious. Disturbia overall is just a great place to get a lot of basics and essentials that lean on the dark aesthetic side. They also have a lot of button ups and other sheer type of cover-ups if that's what you're into. Other places to get sheer cover-ups such as the one that I'm wearing here. I got this from Uptown Cheapskate, which is my local thrift store nearby. And I got really lucky with this one. I actually don't know the original store, but you can find a lot of similar pieces on Etsy if you look up organza button-up, organza cover-up, or if you look in the swim section of any store like Target or again, Etsy. Uh, a lot of these black sheer cover-ups that are constructed for like swimming cover-ups can also be outfitted in a way that is deemed office appropriate or can work well in your corporate goth wardrobe. Okay, so some other options for cover-ups that are on the more opaque side. So my favorite, favorite thing to have on hand with me is a ballet 
uh, bolero or uh, shrug. I think the proper term is shrug. You, I got this specific one from a ballet dance store online, but if you just look up black shrug, you will find a lot of options even on Amazon. Um, you can go on Depop, Mercari and get it secondhand if you are having a hard time thrifting it at like your local thrift store. But I just got mine from a ballet shop. You can also get a sheer one just for aesthetics. Um, Marcella NYC has this beautiful sheer shrug that has the same aesthetic but doesn't really answer uh, the request of covering up tattoos. This is more of an aesthetic thing or if you feel like the tank top you're wearing is not office appropriate enough, sometimes adding some sort of sleeve kind of like makes something feel more sharp and more tailored. So the shrug that I personally have is a knitted material. So when it's like when they're blasting the AC in the office, it's a great answer to bundling up without having too many layers. But if you want something that is a little more breathable, what a lot of people like to do, like my own family members, they, they like to wear golf cover-ups. And they're, they come in so many different ways, like some actually look like shrugs, and they have a very athletic type of material, like the typical golf shorts or top that you can think of. Um, but it's very breathable. Some people wear it, uh, well obviously people wear it while golfing, that's how I know about it. My dad, uh, he goes golfing and he, they come in all sorts of designs, but I'm assuming if you are going for like a dark aesthetic corporate office wardrobe, uh, a plain black one is all you need. If you have any chest tattoos and you're concerned about covering that up, they do come in a turtleneck option. And again, this fabric is very breathable, so you're not going to be like suffocating. And they're such a lightweight material that you can just like roll it up and put it in your bag if you don't want to wear it the entire day. And you can just drive wearing the outfit you're wearing, throw it on in the office and you're good to go. And lastly, I know this is like super basic, but I feel like just having a good basic black cardigan in your wardrobe is just one of those like essentials. And they're one of the easiest things to thrift. Like. I haven't bought a black cardigan from like a normal store, like non secondhand in a long time. Like most of my black cardigans I got from Goodwill or my Uptown Cheapskate, which are my closest ones. And you can always find really good cardigans in my opinion. Um, if you don't have a good thrift store near you, Mercari Depop is probably a good place to shop as well. But I highly recommend looking for this secondhand before you buy it firsthand because for example so this cardigan that i'm wearing in the video is from misguided and it is actually a very good material i know misguided is a like one of those fast fashion companies and i'm really glad to get it secondhand and kind of just like giving this giving it this second life before it goes to the abyss of places where we don't know where <laughs> unsold thrift store clothing goes it's different for every store but like those clothes are already made and if you can give it a second life, you, you, you should. And that's how I ended up with a lot of Shein and Misguided and Cider clothing. Even though I've never shopped from those places directly, a lot of thrift stores are just flooded with them. Speaking of these interesting tank tops, my current favorite place to get these is Marcella NYC. I saw it from a mutual of mine, Chelsea. Shout out to her, she has amazing style. But I saw that she was wearing one of their tank tops and I looked on their website and I actually liked a couple of their silhouettes. So I got uh, like two tank tops from them. And what I love is that they do cutouts in a very intriguing way in unconventional ways to wear them. So some of them kind of look like two short tank tops put together. Some have this interesting like sleeve detail, but overall Marcella NYC is a good place to shop if you are looking for these interesting type of cutouts. They remind me a lot of Techwear, which is like a goth, uh, dark aesthetic adjacent aesthetic. They only have a lot more hardware, and I feel like the cutout tank tops that we see today, especially in Marcella NYC, is kind of like a minimalist answer to that type of aesthetic. Um, I like both, but I love these tank tops as like very easy throw-ons, especially if you're getting up like 10 minutes before you have to leave. 
Another place that I like to get like in interesting tank tops from is Commence. I feel like they do a good variety of very basic essential tank tops and vests, but they also have some of these cut out uh, intriguing type of silhouettes that really work as a tank top. You don't have to get it from Marcella, you don't have to get it from Commence, but some of the keywords that you'll be looking for are like cutout tank tops, uh, tech wear tank tops, and sometimes you can also make shift your own type of silhouette like this by uh, like combining two tank tops together. It does add a lot of layers to it, and if you know it's really hot and you don't you want still some of that breathability, that's where these pre-made tank tops that have this cutout look really come in handy. And this is one of my favorite tops. It's from Collective. I feel like when you have a dark aesthetic and you want to add a sharper look to that, making a corporate goth look, I feel like going down the rockabilly or 1950s reproduction type of clothing is a really good option. So this is from Collective, which is a retro reproduction brand, but you can get a lot of similar styles like this from Unique Vintage, uh, Hell Bunny, and all you're really looking for is like 1950s type of silhouettes. Another thing too with outfits such as this top from Collective, if it is starting to feel a little bit on the plain side, I feel like a great way to spice it up, keep it a dark aesthetic and yet still office appropriate is adding a harness. So I know harnesses are a bit of a controversial topic, especially when it comes to office wear. It is one of my favorite accessories to wear as someone who dresses in a corporate goth look all the time, I guess. But I do understand how some harnesses are deemed as inappropriate and some higher ups are not a fan of them. Like the harnesses that are deemed inappropriate are, I, I don't know how to explain it. Like they have a more obvious provocative look to them. So one of my favorite harnesses, it's from Disturbia and it is a harness that goes over the chest area and I love to wear it with jumpsuits or plain tank tops such as this one that I originally got from Zara. Um, but again, the harness is from Disturbia and although I love this harness, I don't wear it to the office as much just because I can see how it'd be read as slightly provocative to certain conservative individual, but it doesn't stop me from wearing harnesses altogether. I feel like this harness that um, lands slightly at the waist, can read more as a belt with suspenders, and but it's still a harness and it still has the integrity of that style I do favor. And it spices up an outfit that feels a bit on the plain side. I think also whenever a piece, uh, this garment's not a good example, but whenever an outfit doesn't have that much shape to it, such as a blazer or um, a dress that doesn't have a lot of seaming in it. A harness uh, can sometimes uh, mimic like the curve accommodation that is needed. It really depends on the dress and it really depends on the harness, but it is one of my favorite ways to experiment when I need to add a curve accommodation or if I just want to spice up a plain outfit. Um, places to get harnesses, like I mentioned, the one that goes over the chest is originally from Disturbia. Their sizing can be a little tricky. Like this one is, I believe the medium to large one, but where I had an issue with the sizing is the straps, like they fall off my shoulder and I had to like finagle it so that it doesn't. And um, that's not really ideal. The harness I wear the most is actually from Amazon and I feel like it gets a lot of wear and tear and it still works great. Jenny Machete. Um, I'll link her down below, but she has a variety of silhouettes that are a bit on the spicy side for any time that you want to wear a harness, but if you need something where your office is like kind of funny about that kind of stuff, she also has slightly more conservative harnesses that I mentioned where you could pass it as, it's a belt with suspenders, calm down. Um, and also she offers harnesses that kind of have like a pocket where you can like put your phone in it and I think that's really fun. It feels like you're a video game character and if uh, they're made in Salem and she they're vegan leather so that's something to look into. I'm definitely going to get a Jenny Machete harness soon. Highly recommend it. She's also a very sweet human being. Okay next up let's talk about trousers. So 
my um, I do have a variety of just plain black trousers. I'm not gonna like bore your ear off with those just because I don't think there's much to elaborate on it. Um, you can get plain black trousers from honestly anywhere. Uh, you can thrift it. Kohl's is one of my favorite places to get it just because you can get a variety of ones that are more tapered or more wide-legged. Uh, but one of my favorite trousers is something with like slight interesting details like this one from Commence where the button is at a diagonal and not just because it is visually appealing it kind of flares out and it really works for someone with hips like me um, but also the fabric from Commence like these specific trousers are extremely comfy and they're a very good quality for what it is and I love it so much that I wanted to get a second pair just in case these like rip or something but Commence is a great place to get uh, very similar trousers. So when you have a dark aesthetic, obviously wearing all black is a great go-to, uh, but you can always have fun with uh, pattern and play. I feel like Disturbia's trousers is one of my favorite places to get business trousers that do play around with a pattern like that. So I got these pants a long time ago. They get a lot of wear. I wear them in the office or just going out just because it is such a comfy silhouette. It has the pleating at the hem that I'm a huge fan of. And also it tapers at the bottom. I really do like uh, tapered in pants for me personally. I think they look great, especially if I have like a heeled loafer or some kind of heeled boot. Um, and I like how there is this subtle plaid pattern to it. Next trouser I want to talk about is this one from Marshalls. I love these pants. Um, they lean on a bit of the capri pedal pusher type of silhouette and they're a bit on like on the stretchy side and they're a bit plaid. They kind of have a retro vibe to them from far away. They kind of look like gingham and I'm really into that and they match almost everything in my closet because it's black. Okay next I'm gonna talk about is shoes. So I'm going to be real with you for the summer and warmer months I only bounce between two shoes right now. Probably three because I'm waiting on a pair of flats that I just bought last night from Vagabond. So I have been a fan of Vagabond heels for a long time. I have a pair of Vagabond heels that I used to wear a lot at my old job when I was in the fashion industry and they were so comfy. And I don't wear them as often because the heel is brown and kind of has like a tortoise shell look to that and it doesn't really match the vibe that I'm really into these days, but I do miss the comfortability and quality that Vagabond shoes is. Is this me talking up Vagabond a little bit? Maybe. Um, but I got their flats and I love the square toe part because it kind of looks more like a ballet shoe, which is what I'm really into. And to start off, my personal shoe that I have been wearing like to death are these Circus NY no, just Circus New York, um, Mary Janes. They kind of teeter-totter uh, like clown fashion, which I'm actually into. No one has ever said that except me, but I think it's because of the little bit of sheen in it. They were originally $80 and I got them from Famous Footwear for $12. I love them, they're comfy, they're easy to slip on, and in the colder months, they look great with socks. Another shoe that I wear on repeat are my heeled loafers. They are Steve Madden. I originally got them from Marshalls, but I feel like any heeled loafer is a must in a summer corporate goth wear type of look. Also, I love it when the heel is super thick just because they're way more comfortable, but they still look very elegant and chic. We're gonna talk about accessories. I feel like, like I said, where you can push it is shoes and accessories. So again, these are just my personal preferences. But what I like to wear on a daily basis, I love the look of layered necklaces. I feel like they add a lot of oomph to an all black outfit. So one of my favorite necklaces to wear is my black Lana Del Rey heart um, rosary, essentially. Some, my mom actually laughed and thought I was wearing a rosary and she was so confused. But no, it's a Lana Del Rey um, necklace and I got it off Etsy. All you have to do is look up black Lana Del Rey necklace. There's actually so many iterations of this heart rosary necklace that I'm sure you'll find one that you'll like. And then 
the necklace that I'm wearing that I wear almost all the time and I don't ever take it off unless I'm washing the necklace is my charm necklace. So the charm that I keep on it almost every day is the hand charm. But what I love about this carabiner that is in the middle is that you can literally take charms on and off of it. And I like to collect charms that feel very personal to me and have a dark aesthetic to it. So I have a charm that is a bat skull. I also have a Celtic cart that I got from the Irish festival that I went with my boyfriend and my friends. So I love that you can make your outfit super personal and meaningful, especially in the accessories. And soon, one of my my soon to be everyday necklace is from a, my one of my friends, Nicole. Um, she has the brand Flourish and Charm, and I think this necklace it's going to be super special to me. And it's a Labradorite silver necklace, and she personalizes it so you can choose what stone is in the middle. But I feel like if you have a dark aesthetic and you like a corporate goth wear, this necklace is one of those great layering pieces or it's even a type of necklace that kind of has a fantasy feel to it. Um, another jewelry brand I highly recommend if you have a dark aesthetic is Mage of Metals. Oh my god, that name is so good. Like, she deserves an award for amazing name. Um, I don't own any of her necklaces yet, but she has a lot of occult and witchy type of jewelry such as this flame ring um this persephone and hades necklace so i really think you can layer and have so much fun when it comes to accessories and rings i collect uh sterling silver rings the rings that i'm currently wearing are from irish festival and i plan on to continue on collecting not a huge makeup person but um, that's just a personal preference. I have very sensitive eyes and as much as I love wearing eyeliner and falsy, um, false eyelashes, my eyes tend to are prone to infection. I, it's gross. It's gross. So um, I normally just stick to doing my eyebrows and doing like a bold red lipstick to make up for that. Um, so gauge the makeup based off of what you think. I think makeup is also another place you can have fun and really push the limit in an office um, environment. Obviously base it off of your work environment. I think like the office I work in um, where I'm surrounded by a bunch of creatives, I think even traditional goth makeup can be deemed fine in some cases. I think um, it just really depends. And then there are some more conservative office places that are really funny about that. So really feel it out based off of what you think is best. My actual practical work bag is this Japanese school bag that is in this uh, probably fake leather type of material that I got off of Amazon. Um, I also have it on my TikTok shop if you want something very similar with the heart uh, pocket on it but i love this bag because it is big enough to carry my laptop and it doesn't ruin the integrity of my aesthetic um the only thing is that might concern some people is that it is not it is not built to carry a laptop so you may need to if this is a bag that you're also interested in maybe buy a laptop um like sleeve and then it, it would fit perfectly because this bag is huge. This bag is pretty substantial, um, but I don't, I don't really like travel much with it. I'm just like in my car in the office, so I'm I'm fine, and I very rarely drop my bag. But maybe I should get a laptop sleeve. Other otherwise, this bag is is amazing in size, and I love how it looks, and it has a D ring so that you can. Um, mix and match keychains on it. I, I love decorating any of my bags with keychains when I can. And I think that is it. So that is my take on corporate goth summer um, and how to dress for a corporate goth tailored look or how to dress a corporate goth for the office wear without sacrificing the integrity of your style and aesthetic. So let me know if you have any other questions below or if you have any dark aesthetic clothing stores that you recommend, please put it in the comments. Um, I should take a break from shopping, but 
sometimes it helps i know thrifting even though that's like what i advocate for the most and that's what majority of my wardrobe is i do understand that thrifting can be such a tricky thing for everybody because not everybody's thrift store has like the best inventory um depop and mercari have been like some of the sellers have been upselling at a ridiculous rate um, so sometimes it's also just as good to support these small businesses with a spooky or dark aesthetic. Everything I mentioned will be linked down below. Um, if you have any questions, let me know and I hope you have a great week. Thank you for watching. Bye!